Hello class, it's Professor Streeter. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I thought I'd start sharing some videos with you. This is the first one. I miss our in-class time together, and I thought this would be a way of trying to recreate that as best I can. So let me get started. Um, I'm going to have a split screen, very high tech. And this side, we have some notes <clears throat> that I'm going to kind of talk through my notes. And on the other side, we have me. Okay. Our question this week is, what is a life of honor? And how does Homer's Odyssey answer this question? That's what I'm going to try to talk about, looking at passages from book 11 and 12 in Homer's Odyssey. Think about this question of honor. What, what is a life of honor? And this will set up your discussion question for this week, which relates to the end of the book, Circe. Okay, let's get started. I thought we could begin by looking at the trip to the underworld, where Odysseus meets Tiresias, the prophet, and has a conversation with him. And Tiresias shares with him the prophecy. I'm going to try to keep these videos short, uh, little five-minute chunks, so I'll probably break and make another video after this, so it's kind of a little series but I think it'll be easier if it's broken up into chunks. So let's start with Tiresias in Book 11. Um, he tells Odysseus the prophecy, and he, he says that Odysseus is seeking a homecoming sweet as honey. This is where he begins. Uh, and I've given the line number there. Oh, what is that? What is a homecoming sweet as honey? We know that Odysseus will not get it, but what is it? What does that look like? Uh, instead, his homecoming will be bitter. He's blinded Polyphemus. Poseidon has it out for him. Uh, for many reasons, we now know his homecoming will be bitter. And this is where Odysseus learns that. He already knew it, but now Tiresias tells him that. Your homecoming will not be sweet as honey. It will be bitter. But he will have vengeance, Tiresias tells him. How? What, what will that look like? That's sort of the story will unfold for us. But there is a clear connection now between getting vengeance on the suitors, and restoring honor to the house of Ithaca. That idea is there in the text. The honorable life is tied to this idea of avenging wrongs done to one's family. So we know that Odysseus will have vengeance. In some sense, we know now that Odysseus will restore honor to the house of Ithaca. Um, Tiresias also tells him that he will die with his people prospering all around him. Does that mean that he will die a good death, right? What is a good death? Is that an honorable way to die, right? Part of the life of honor has to do with how you die. And there's this image of Odysseus dying with all of his people prospering around him. Okay. Uh, but Odysseus then asks Tiresias, well, how can my mother's ghost recognize me for who I am? I don't just want to talk to you, Tiresias. I saw my mother on the way in, my mother's ghost, and I need to speak with her. This is an interesting thing. He, the first ghost he sees is his mother, but he delays the conversation in order to get the prophecy from Tiresias. That tells you something about Odysseus. But now he wants to see his mother. He wants his mother to see him. How can I do that? Well, Tiresias tells him, you have to give her blood. She has to drink the blood. Only then will she speak truly. Um, but here's a question. Why must his mother see him for who he is? Why is this so important? What does the mother see? How does she see her son, the ghost of the mother? Okay, um, And she asks, like, her first question, when he gives her the blood, she begins to speak, why are you here? Right? What are you doing here? How did you get here? This is not a place for the living. It's very hard for the living to come this far and reach these shores and cross these rivers. What are you doing here? What does he say, scrolling up with our notes? Well, he, I came out of necessity. I didn't choose to come here. I came here of necessity. I'm still on my journey. I haven't found my way home, but this is where my journey led me, of necessity. I didn't want to come here. Right? But he wants to know something. He wants to know how his mother died, and how things are with his father, with his son, with his wife. And he asks a question when he begins asking about his family. Does the honor I had still remain with them? That's an interesting question. Does the honor that I had still remain with my son, my father, my wife, my family? Well, what is the honor that he speaks of here? 
That's the first big question. So I'm going to pause and I'll come back to you with the next video. Okay.